Hello everybody, my name is Alaskan Blue Jay, and welcome back to Boneworks. Now, there's one quick housekeeping thing that I have to take care of before we get started. You might remember in the last episode I had you guys vote on uh, what I should have the perspective be uh, for your point of view on the flat screen. But somebody raised a very good point in the comments. I don't remember exactly who. There'll be a text pop-up shouting them out. But they said that... Uh, it, it was sort of hard to vote not having seen the other options and I just sort of realized that I kind of didn't really pay attention to the other options either I just assumed that if I centered it right or left that it'd be really restrictive like other VR games but I forgot that Boneworks has the action camera feature which makes it look like a wide-angle lens and if that's on look at this there's like almost no perceptible difference because the wide-angle lens is so good that you can still see basically my entire field of view no matter what setting I have that put on. <laughs> like, all it changes really, like I'm looking at it just out of this little crack between my nose and the headset, and all it really appears to change is the positioning of my hand. The actual field of view doesn't matter at all. So this way, if I set it to right eye, you guys should be able to see down the sights of the weapons that I'm using with no actual changes whatsoever to your field of view in game. So, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot for even bringing it up without checking first myself. We're just gonna leave it on right eye, uh, unless I'm just completely inundated with comments that are like, oh, this is so much worse for a reason that I can't foresee, and then I guess maybe I'll change it back if, if you're just adamant that centered view is better, but <laughs> I really can't see any reason why that would be. So, executive decision, we're going with right eye until further notice. Also, this time, just as a personal goal, I will try to get through the episode start to finish without causing actual physical damage to my IRL body. Oh boy, that loading in frame rate. Ooh <laughs> Now, it was also brought to my attention in the comments that Boxes that are smashable uh, usually will not contain anything particularly useful unless it has the like the big like the big actual wooden boxes with the Boneworks logo, like you've seen in previous episodes. But you fail to take into account just how much I enjoy smashing things, so I probably will continue to punch any and all boxes that I might find in this game simply because it's fun. Now, uh, back to whatever is going on here in-game. I can't help but feel like whatever this is, is probably not good. I suppose this is also a decent place to test my theory that I don't take fall damage, but I would really rather avoid that unless all other options are exhausted. So. I'm just gonna see if there's anything useful up here first. Whoa, wait, what, wait, what the? Uh, oh, oh, what, I didn't even, I thought I was climbing up. I've been pulling this down the whole time. What the hell? That's very strange. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I think I see what's going on here. Oh, wow, that's, oh, all right. I, I was expecting that to be an elevator, but it's literally just, that was just an arbitrary wall into this room for some reason. Look out, it says. Presumably because of the falling objects. Are, th are there... Why are there null body bodies <laughs> falling out of those things? Something is very wrong here. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, I have two axes, yes, and a sledgehammer back here. Okay, cool. Been a few days since I recorded this, so I just wanted to make sure I still had my inventory straight. I apologize in advance if you guys are seeing those frame drops, by the way. It's getting pretty slideshowy in here. I'm not sure why, but I don't really have time to fix it at the moment, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, that seems hazardous. Fall damage or no, I probably should not go down there. It seems... as though I'm supposed to move this... Apparently, even Director Ford's Herculean strength has its limits. And maybe this is what I was supposed to see. Ooh, wait, is that 
That's a, no, no, that's not moving. I'm moving myself. Listen, okay, VR is, it's, 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 it's sort of difficult sometimes to tell. I was just bamboozled into thinking I was moving myself when really I was moving an object the entire time. So I'm questioning my entire life at the moment. Oh wait, did I just... I may have just soft-locked myself into being stuck down here. That's incredibly intelligent. Ah, uh, no, 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 jump, jump, shit, fuck! I'm incredible at video games, by the way. I just, but I just wanted to make that clear. I really cannot overstate how skilled and talented I am when it comes to the virtual realities experiences. What? What? Oh, wait, um... Yeah, okay, yeah, this is, this is, this is what I was definitely supposed to do the entire time, right there. Mm, come on, come on, there we go, there we go. Shout out to somebody else in the comments for letting me know that, uh, this is, this follows Half-Life logic where you have to crouch to bring your legs up. Like, you can crouch jump and everything, but crouching also matters when it comes to parkour, so as weird as it feels, when I'm trying to climb up onto something, I need to crouch down in real life to pull my legs up to me in VR. And yes, I know there's a setting where I could just, uh, I could just make it so that holding down the stick crouches me, but that breaks my immersion and ruins the RP. So I, I would really rather be doing it this way. Okay, uh, now. Oh, there's a big red button over there. All right, so I need to go bring one of those cubes. And uh, I'm assuming the reason there's more than one of them here is so that I have a spare if I'm a massive idiot and drop one of them into the trash compactor. <laughs> oh, make that three. Okay. Okay, so I feel like... Mm, okay, maybe not. Maybe this is a little bit heavier. Yeah, okay, that's... I'm not really supposed to be able to... Oh, well, maybe I can. I, I don't know. This game is a little iffy sometimes when it comes to things getting stuck on other things. How the hell? I really don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Ugh. Nope. 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 Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna get it back. Eh. And. Uh, and no, 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 son of a bitch, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, easy, easy. Just like the PS2 balance beam sections of old. Okay, I guess maybe I should try to investigate exactly what that button does before I go to all the trouble of trying to bring a cube over there to it. Why is this not... Why is that not working? Oh, I... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to... I need to make a change here real quick. I'm just gonna save the directional movement to my head instead because there's there have been a couple times I'm pretty sure I've cut them all out so far but there have been times where trying to do directional like the directional movement on the controller is real finicky like if the stick is even ever so slightly backwards from like exactly perpendicular to the ground then it would start to send me backwards instead so trying to reach up see like this would send me backwards when I was trying to jump and that's why I couldn't grab or vault up onto this Okay, crouching, shimmying, Care careful, 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 and that's how it's done right there. Uh, huh. Okay. And what is this? Can I physically lift that if I want to? Oh, no, but I can climb this. Okay, all right. I I think I think I get it. I think I get it. I'm not really sure. 
Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, this is also pressure related? Or is it? Okay, it's definitely wobbly. Okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. I've got a strategy. I'm pretty sure I can use these to weight that platform down. Yep. Okay. Meaning that this one that I dropped a second ago is no longer soft locked. Mm, come on. Come on, I know you got it in yet. There we go. Again, I will excuse that as being realistic physics because even though it's annoying to get tripped up on the block while you're going on the stairs, it's a gigantic weighted cube. I shouldn't, like, expect to be able to just chest fly that over my head while going up a flight of stairs. Now, is it particularly realistic to go backwards up a flight of stairs either? No, not especially, but it's less strenuous on the suspension of disbelief, at least. Okay, now, now I have a plan. Like I say, I have a plan. There are so many things that could potentially go wrong with this plan, but I do have a plan. Okay, watch this, watch this. This is the PS2 Kung Fu Panda balance beam strats right here. Okay, okay. And then we're just gonna one, two, three! Yeah! God, I'm so smart! I'm a genius! And now we just ever so daintily huh, and eh, crouch to mantle. Yes! Oh, that's so much better. And like so. Open the door. Now, I'm pretty sure the idea is it wants me to bring another weighted cube over here to give me enough weight to bring this platform down since it seems sort of balanced. But wait for it, I do have another just like 3000 IQ strategy. Check this out. I'm doing this the way of my ancestors, the monkey way. The way of a true primate. I'm losing my grip. All right, we're fine, we're fine. <clears throat> okay, it's all right, it's all right. I got this, okay, 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 okay. Right, just swing forward a little bit. And get up there. I got, I gotta reposition myself. I'm getting too, too close to the wall. And as you might imagine, I'm not too fond of that idea at the moment. Crouch to mantle, maybe, no? Okay, how about just reach over here and pull myself in? Why am I still? I'm still stuck. Come on, move. Come on, Ford. Move your stupid director legs. Oh, the fuck. The, the first to get up. Get. So stuck on my shoulder. God damn it. Okay. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ah. Wait, was I even. Oh, 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 God. Oh, something's. Yo, Arthur. Over here. Wait, what? All Monogon employees, all of Mytho West is on lockdown. It's crazy over here. I have no idea how you weren't kicked. Like, nobody else can log in. The system clock being frozen might have something to do with it. So if you can make your way to the core tower, you might be able to manually restart it and let us back in. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, wait a, wait a moment. Wait just a moment. Christmas is over, but perhaps this game gave me a belated present. My knuckles ever so gently grazed the wall behind me right there, and it died. Uh, don't like that. Also, shout out to the comments once again for telling me that I apparently was able to spend rifle bullets at that shop earlier, but I needed to have a rifle first to do it, which is sort of upsetting to hear in retrospect. Because that means if I had bought the rifle first, that was in that lower right bin, I could have spent rifle bullets on better weapons, but oh well. Okay, let's see, uh... Fuck, what, uh, what, uh, hmm, what do I want to do with this? Also, is it, is it possible to change, like, I can see on the side of this MP5 here that there are settings for fully automatic 
uh, semi-automatic, and I guess that's safe. Yeah, does somebody who does somebody who knows more about this game tell me if it's possible to operate this safety switch? Because believe it or not, with bullets in short supply as they are, I would sort of rather <sighs> conserve them. God, why do I even? Uh, uh... I'm being forced to make a terrible decision here because I don't want to give up my sledgehammer, but there's also just something extremely satisfying about dual wielding axes. Maybe I'll... Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna... Okay, watch, 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 watch. This is gonna be the strat. I'm going to... No, but then if I have to do more puzzles, I'm gonna have to be throwing the sledgehammer around. That's just not practical. Shit. Okay, well, you know what? For now, I'll just carry the sledgehammer with me until I'm forced to make a decision. To anyone still in myth, something has gone critically wrong with internal security. Other boards may be compromised. If you are reading this, get to the time tower. It is the only known working resurrection safe location in myth. Haze. Okay. Boop. Nice. Anyway, uh, we appear to have a checkpoint here, so... Wait, is this the area I was already in? Maybe? No? Oh, okay. Uh, right, okay, don't get caught by that. Anyway, I apologize, because I know there's some of you that are probably going to be a little disappointed that this episode is so short, but because it was good enough to give me a checkpoint here, a little peek behind the curtain, I am actually very behind in editing at this point in time, so I kind of really do need to let this be it for right now. I promise it will not be as long before the next episode of Boneworks, though, because uh, No Man's Sky, Subnautica, and this game, in that order, are by far the most popular series is on my channel right now, so I'm going- I'm going to prioritize those, don't worry. It, it won't be a full week between episodes this time. So thank you everybody for watching this video on Boneworks. If you are continuing to enjoy the series, please remember that the best way to support it is to leave a like. You can also subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications when future videos are coming out. As always, feel free to chat with me in the comments, and I will see you all next time. Catch you later.